It's a South West, I don't know how it works. I get on the line and like I come all late because I'm drinking and okay, where do I go? And the lady's like, oh no. They have them all like lined up with the numbers and the grouping that you're in. And she's like, oh no, this is just group A. Group B needs to wait over there. And there's all these people just walking on. I'm like, who are those people? She's like, those are children and handicapped people. Like, okay, I'm like, I'm not hating. I'm just wondering. I'm trying to figure out the system. And I get on, there's a bunch of great seats. So I'm like, I'm like, I can just pick any seat. She's like, yep, any seat. This this is the beauty of Southwest. I'm like, I'll take that window seat. I sit down. About five minutes later, they tell you everyone it's going to be a full plane. You're going to have nowhere to sit. They come on the announcement. They're like, we have a family here with two people. If somebody with an empty seat next to them is willing to move, the family would like to seat together. Nobody moved. I was going to move anyway, but I, I was really high, so I didn't even understand. I'm like, what? Who do they want? To? I'm like, seat next to you. We'll give two free drinks to anybody who's willing to move their seat. So as I raise my hand, the whole plane starts clapping for me. Don't clap for me. They're giving me two free drinks. I'm not doing this to like be nice. I'm just going to okay. get up and I start walking the seat and the whole plane's clapping for me. You know? It was amazing. Oh, that's awesome. I guess that's it. My Uber driver, I mean, I can get into that, but she just, she loved hip hop. Yeah. She just, and you loved her. She's a blazing hottie. No, no, no. About hip hop, we nice. talked about well, we talked about Buju Banton. Can I start here? How are you doing? <laughs> Your dirty iron vision.
thing and then not getting caught up in um, like people they start to change who they are they read comments or they do other stuff and they change their whole shit up because they're like well, someone said they didn't like this let me take it out it's you really just like every single day i wake up i have no idea what the vlog is going to be about like i have no clue i'm just like all right i'm gonna film i'm gonna start filming every hour and at the end of the day it comes down to the heart of the edit it's like anything, like going to the gym or anything like that. You have to tell yourself you're going to do it no matter what. And then just make sure that you actually do it. It's easy to say, okay, I'm not going to do it today. Okay, I'm not going to do it tomorrow. And then it's a week, a month, or whatever. So consistency and not really like worrying too much about what it's going to be about. Your day is going to be about whatever the hell your day is being about. So that's just all you have to do. And you have to realize there's sacrifices you have to make. You're not going to dinner. You know, like you're not you're not doing it. Like sometimes I don't eat until I'm done editing, which is 11, 12 o'clock tonight. Sacrifices. But you also have to be that. It's just like sports or anything else. Like you have to be the person that shows up. If you're not the person that shows up every day, you're not going to make the team. You know, like there's plenty of people out here who start channels and then stop showing up. If you're consistently that dude or girl who's every day like, yo, I'm, I'm going to be here tomorrow. I'm going to be here the next day. I'm going to be here the next. Whether you tell me you hate me in my comments, I'm going to be here every day. And you just have to keep doing it and just basically force it down people's throats. Like they can't say anything about your work ethic after that.
Hey, Mamie. The daddy's home. Yeah. Good boy, Omar. What's up, everybody? Um, I made it back from Houston. I'm sorry for the lack of updates while I was gone. I uh, was gonna try and upload this vlog Sunday, but it, time just got time just got crazy. It was a short, very short trip to Houston. Time was insane. It was also very stressful. Before I went to Houston, if you follow my Twitter, then you know Omar got sick again. Uh, this time he ended up throwing up, and this is pretty gross, but he had some worms in his throw up, so I had to take him and get him dewormed. He's now on some crazy dewormer -ness. He had been dewormed before, but with puppies, it's just look. If nothing else, you'll learn that puppies are a ton of work. Omar pulled a little dramatic move before I tried to leave and I left straight from the vet to the airport. Shout out for Ernie for stepdadding uh, Omar while I headed to the airport so that he could get him home so he could catch his flight. Omar's fine, he's uh, up and up. Kennel cough is gone. Got some more doctor's appointments he's gotta go to just to keep him up to date and then um, he's good to go. So He just can't really be around other dogs right now while we make sure that he's not got nothing going on. Shout out to everybody that came out to Houston. Sneaker Summit, thank you everybody at Sneaker Summit. Really had a good time. Houston's hot as shit. Uh, that part kinda sucks, but other than that, I had a great time. I love Texas. Texas always shows love. Um, but yeah, I got a busy week ahead of me. I got a lot of stuff to do at the shop. Been super tired since I got home too. Today I was like just exhausted, so I'm gonna try and rest. My house is an absolute mess. I gotta clean that up. And um, yeah, just get ready for this busy week. We got a dragon restock coming on Thursday, actually it's Dragons, Laces, and Long Sleeve Pan Am stuff. Uh, LA Dragons, that is. There's also a new color. Um, but yeah, just a ton of stuff going on. Lots of things to get into. I don't think there's actually any shoes on the way to me. I need to pick up these Laceless Ultra Boos somewhere. My, um, my Aniki, my, what is it called? The Bodega Aniki that I got, got canceled, so. That's not on the way, but I can't think of anything that's actually on the way or that's even come out, so. I don't know, one day this week we'll talk about new releases, but for now, I'm gonna go play with Omar, clean my house, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Uh -huh.